Okay, so here is the trumpeter, folks, leading the long guard back through the tunnel to Horse Guards Braid and then to Buckingham Palace. That's the Blues and Royals leaving now. Nice squash. As one horse is kicking off, there's always one that doesn't want to go. Every time. Uh, now I see why they locked it down because if they tried to change over the Blues and Royals long guard with the lifeguard long guard, the horses would have kicked off massively. Uh, bear in mind you've got 15 horses per long guard, that would have equaled 30 horses. Uh, there's not enough stabling here for 30 horses, so they would have been out in the yard at the back. Um, and if they tried to change them over with the film crew here and everything else going on, yeah, it would have been a bit of a, a bit of a squish and a, probably a bit of a mess to be honest. We all remember what happened last Monday uh, with the horse that uh, did not want to behave. Monday meltdown, guys, that video. So that's the blues safely out and across the parade ground. Notice no morning inspection, no lining up, etc. Uh, they're heading straight over past the Garza Memorial. Join the bottom of the Mall, go along the Mall, past the Palace and up Constitution Hill. Okay, that makes things a lot clearer about uh, why they were being a little teeny bit cautious um, about the long guard. One, for the film crew to get it, but two, apparently, um, and again, that's off camera, having a chat with the trooper here. Uh, not only was the fellow that we caught in the last video that arrived a very senior officer, uh, we think that he was a lieutenant general. Um, again, I'll confirm it before I post the video. With, uh, with those three pips. Okay, so the blues are off, that's done. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, film crew's going back in. Army PR guy. Now, unless they're going to wait right by the exit entrance to the stables to capture uh, the lifeguards taking over the boxes, potentially. We've still got, actually, let's see, still we've got, no, we haven't actually. Blues and Royals have completely left. There are no Blues and Royals guards here at all. Chitsman, Gatesman, gone. Boxman, obviously taken off already. Uh, I've just spotted, I didn't see him before, there's a lifeguard uh, chitsman in the arches by the stable area. Yeah, a real lockdown. But apparently, yeah, there is another minor protest um, in central London. And obviously with the film crew being here as, as well, they didn't want anything to go wrong. I get it. I'm not in PR myself, but I get it. The optics are more important sometimes than the, than the substance. Anyway, so that looks to me uh, like they're done. Yeah, heading into the uh, into the offices here. So I think next up they will open everything up. I'm gonna zoom out now, folks, <laughs> and uh, and wait for a few minutes. Hopefully, they will open it up any moment. Um, there's never any guarantee here, but. Yeah, my money is on it being opened up. Luckily, because of the fact there were so many people here, um, at the moment, if they do open it up, there's not going to be a huge crush, a throng to get through. That typical early morning enthusiasm, people want to see the changeovers and the horses. They get here, they see it locked down, most people leave. Now, that's unfortunate, especially if you're a tourist and it was your one only chance to see it. However, for us, it's exceedingly lucky. Why? Well, because we get to see the gates being reopened on the boxes, and more importantly, uh, we'll be the first to see the gu new guards come out. Uh, lifeguards this morning. Some workers here asking the officer if they can go in, obviously, just check their credentials. But next up, people, will be what we're here for uh, the horses the guards and, of course, uh, the tourists. I will pause this briefly uh, and resume it when that starts. Okay, ladies and gents, uh, we resume. What do we resume? The fun. Uh, this massive group, 
very large group, in fact. Uh, I was talking to some of them and to the teacher um, because I didn't recognize the language. So I said to them, hey, guys, uh, where are you from? Which language are you speaking? And uh, he said, we are from the Czech Republic. Uh, and to me, that's interesting. Why? Because I've never actually, myself, uh, either spoken to or heard Czech being spoken, a very distinctive language, which is what piqued my interest. Um, and obviously, you know, the fact that I spoke to them meant that I was able to make a, a Czech mate. Sorry, guys, I had to throw that in, obviously. Anyway, uh, yes, Czech invasion here at Horse Guards. Very, uh, very small group, as you can see. Maybe the guards are going to make some checkmates. He's not going to like how many people are uh, squishing around the arches here. Really not at all, look. Now, what are we betting, guys, in terms of... in terms of somebody getting shattered at? Look, this is how many people are squished right against the chains. That's what happens when uh, when the place is locked down and the toys are deprived of their fix of uh, of the guards. Okay, so the guard is firmly in place, uh, and his view, everybody, uh, is of this. I think that's the largest number of people I've ever seen um, in nine months of filming here crowded around one arch uh, at one moment. Almost like they're queuing for, I don't know, a new Apple iPhone or something. It's a lot of people. Yikes. I don't think you'll shout at kids, but you just never know. What a squash. I mean, really, I don't understand why people need to... Uh, to squish up this close in, the, in such large numbers. Very odd. Especially for a Wednesday morning. <laughs> Guards haven't even finished unpacking yet. Look, they're still yeah, taking yeah. their stuff in. Just nothing. Uh, long guard, but they only just opened the gates. It's, lifeboat just arrived. There was a film crew here, so everything's running late. Gosh, that is a very big, uh, very big group today. Enormous. A real squash. Interesting enough, actually, the other side is not quite as bad, uh, but nor is it particularly good. I think because there are such large numbers uh, and they're concerned <laughs> that people are almost certainly going to walk into the arch, uh, they've physically stationed. Uh, some officers here this morning to make sure that that can't happen because like the other side it's just chaos like real chaos that side's the 10 times more on the other side <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it is going to be a hundred percent yep yeah even the police know it's going to be a bit of a corker today everybody a real corker and the reason i think primarily that people are congregating in the yard um, and you know, almost gawping at the guards is because for the moment we still don't have those new horses out. Okay, the boxes are empty. Here they are. They're coming shortly, uh, but everything has been hugely delayed this morning because of that lockdown for the film crew that were uh, recording for Channel 5, the long guard. Okay, so we had a kind of a semi long guard. I mean, it was a long guard, we had the royal stand and everything else, but we didn't have the, you know, the, the full trumpet and everything else that typically happens here in the yard. So at the moment, this is why we've got this massive group of people here instead, effectively just waiting for something to happen because until the horses come out, there's nothing to look at except for the guard that's over in the archway. I mean, I can't really blame them. If you're a tourist and you come to London and you want to get a picture of or with the guard, it's going to be here, isn't it? Because there's no other choice. It's here or nowhere. Okay. Workers getting let in to uh, to hoover up the mess. Got to keep everything nice and clean for Channel Five. Really, 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 really busy here this morning. And I have absolutely no idea why uh, the stuff in this group. 
Můžete se sem vrátit, až budete mít rozchod na Trafalgar, není to daleko, já vám ukážu. Ok, so the teacher, who's at the back. <laughs> Sorry, a friend of mine photographer saying like, shh, shh. Because the group. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, uh, never mind. Yeah, the, the teacher was getting a bit uh, funny about the fact that there were several of us uh, filming the racing at the same time when she's trying to give this this huge talk and discussion or whatever uh, to her group, etc. This is why a lot of them look. Oh, give, give me this side eye now. Okay, guys. I guess I'm not making any checkmates after all. Hey, never mind. It is what it is. Okay, so we've now got. A relatively unobscured view of <laughs> seriously the second I say it uh, of a lifeguard well I mean we almost had a relatively unobscured view of uh, the lovely lifeguard for all of about what two seconds <laughs> oh god here we go Wait for the heart sign or the V sign or you know the bent leg or whatever else it is. People normally doing these pictures. Okay, there it is, guys. That very rare moment um, when there's no one else obscuring the view, and it's so rare that I'm going to move back uh, and let the other tourists have their pictures and so on because hey. You know what? Um, I'm here too often, and lots of people. This is their first time, so it's only fair to, to let everybody else get their pictures and be happy. Yeah, so it's, this is actually the latest that I, I remem personally remember the horses being brought out. Hugely heightened state of alert this morning. But then again, it's not super high in the sense that they wouldn't have opened the gates if they were. A uh, potential threat of some sort. But it's unusual though to see the officer standing pretty much consistently in one spot physically uh, to stop anybody walking into the arches. Don't worry, that guy that just walked past him uh, works in the shop, everybody. The guard shop here in front of me. And that little kiosk is an extension of the guards museum, which is at the back. Okay, we wanted some horses, and here there are some horses. Not the horses, but some horses. Including that glorious grey. Look at this. Wow. Magnificent, eh? S this, is, this is super. I think we're going to end up with volume three for the horses coming out. It seems that the lifeguards having <clears throat> one arrive late or later uh, two having to let the film crew uh, film behind closed gates uh, and then three it being a long guard means that there are a lot more of them there's a lot of kits on pack yep they are definitely running a little bit behind let me just double check on the time 11.46 guys almost noon still no horses I don't think they're going to bother bringing out uh, two new horses for the sake of 14 minutes. It'll be completely pointless. So I think they're going to hold off until noon, bring out the horses then. Look of delight though on the, a lot of people's faces, a wonderful thing to see. Stomp, stomp. while two other horses came through <clears throat> excuse me and went out the front gate it's a bay a bay and a grey this is always very curious in fact when uh, when the horses are not here one because everybody thinks hold on if you go to horse guards we'll see some horses they get here uh, there are no horses 
Oh, somebody's having a bit of an issue as well. I'm not going to film that, but yeah, somebody's not in a good way behind me. No idea what's going on there. What an odd day today has been, like, exceedingly in fact. Actually, one second, let me ask her if she's okay. Is she okay? Is she okay? There's an officer, we need to get an officer who can help with medical assistance. There's a police officer inside if you want me to get him. Are you sure she's alright? Okay. There are, there are two police in there if, if anything happens, yeah? Okay. Pleasure. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. She's having a bit of a, maybe a, 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 maybe a panic attack or something <coughs> with her friends, but anyway. Yeah, not a very nice thing to see, but hopefully she'll be fine. To be honest, it really would not surprise me. Um, people come into here, get into the crowd, it suddenly gets absolutely chocker. Sometimes even I'm not, I mean, I'm, I don't have any issues with you know, crowds or panic attacks or anything else, luckily. But sometimes I'm a little bit like, wow, this is just too many people in the squash. Now it's fine, but yeah, there are occasions when it's a little teeny weeny bit overwhelming. Uh, and I get that, hopefully the, uh, the girl will be all right. Park. Relentless, you see, this is the problem when there are no horses. All of the attention is on the arches, which are inevitably leads to these squishes. Oh God, here we go. So here comes a massive tall group, flag in hand, waiting for the, uh, look, stuck the entire group on the line. Just, yeah, take the whole line, one group. It's the biggest bugbear, not only of, uh, of myself and the other people that film here, but also <coughs> between you and I of, uh, should we say, certain other authorities that operate here. Okay, the uh, group with the girl that was in distress have moved on, so I dare say she's alright. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes, guys. Uh, they're going to come out finally. All these tourist groups that came out early and put this on their itinerary. It's funny because um, <clears throat> when the police don't know what's going on, then obviously the tour group doesn't know what's going on either. That means the tour group are not able to, or the tour group leader, sorry, is not able to tell his group, hey, the reason there are no horses is X. It's a little teeny bit awkward, actually. I don't envy the tour guides. It really is not an easy, uh, easy job. Compared to, for example, you know, narrating it on what you see as you walk around, which is what I do. Yes, I'm in some respects a, li a, a li TikTok live tour guide, uh, as I describe myself on my YouTube page. But fundamentally, I'm just, you know, chatting about what I see. which is a lot easier because I get to determine one, the content, uh, two, what I decide to talk about, and three, uh, when I shut up, unlike a real tour guide who has to keep his group entertained. Here he is, like an animated fellow. And it's these very large groups. I don't know how many there are, what, 20 or 30 or so along there, in the, along the line? A lot of people. great thing is that the guards haven't had to shower anybody to get out of the arches this morning. Um, I know the second the officer moves, if it's busy here, it'll kick off again, as it always does. We'll see. But part three, folks, <laughs> multi-part morning, uh, part three uh, will actually be the horses coming out uh, and the boxman being back on duty. Uh, so I'll be back for that shortly. <laughs>